Hello, and welcome to my video where I talk about what I would want from Watch Dogs 3. So it just got officially announced, I think it was yesterday, the Watch Dogs Twitter account posted that we will see you at E3, and they changed their name to Watch Dog Legions. That name was leaked a little bit ago, saying, like talking about Watch Dogs going to London, which I would be super excited about, especially to see if they have any kind of mention of the Fry Twins from Assassin's Creed Syndicate. That would be interesting, because they might share the same world. They've never, I don't think they've 100% confirmed it, but I remember in uh, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, in the present day stuff, there's an email talking about CTOS, and Abstergo is saying, no, we do not want any, we don't want support for your system or something like that. And then in Watch Dogs 2, I think it was, I heard someone saying that there's something talking about Abstergo in that game, which I haven't seen that yet. I just beat it last night, um, but I haven't done a bunch of the side missions and stuff. And if they did talk about it, I missed it. This is also going to be a video that I wanted to make a long time ago when Watch Dogs 2 came out, which is a comparison video of some of the stuff that I don't like about Watch Dogs 2. And so it's me talking about that and hoping that they fix it for Watch Dogs 3. I don't really have any systems that aren't in the games or haven't been in a game before um this is mainly just things that i would want brought back from the first watchdogs and some things that i would like them to carry over and all that so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing that i want to talk about is the tone i was not a fan of watchdogs 2 kind of fun happy tone of it and just the whole troll memes everywhere and all that and i didn't like that too much i enjoyed the game but i i really loved watched the first watchdogs serious tone and the story that was with that one and the, it's a revenge story i really like that because we have gta 5 we have saints row we have those fun wacky games i don't want another one of those i want something different like what watchdogs one was i want a serious game that takes itself seriously and it can still have fun. There were some fun moments in the first Watch Dogs. And I just, I absolutely loved it. So I hope we get, I would be happy with a, a good mix between the two. That would be awesome. Another thing is the camera. I hate the camera of Watch Dogs 2. That is the only reason why it took me so long to finish that game. Because I would play it. One of my favorite things to do in the first Watch Dogs was just walk. Because I love that up close, over the shoulder camera as if you're walking right behind that character. It's so good. But in Watch Dogs 2, they pulled that camera way back. It just, it feels too video gamey. I didn't like it. I wouldn't mind that kind of a distance when you're running. But in Watch Dogs 2, the camera gets even further away when you start running. It just, it, it pulled me out of the game. It, it, it lost me. In the first Watch Dogs, like, I felt immersed in that world. And I loved walking around because of that camera. And in Watch Dogs 2, I just, I didn't feel like I was there with them. With the character that kind of sucked and i so i hope that they bring back maybe like what gta does where you can adjust the camera like with the start button or whatever maybe you can like change between like super close up or really far away and all that and maybe a first person mode that would be really cool to see in this uh people were talking about Watch Dogs 2 having a first person mode but that never happened in Watch Dogs 2 and Watch Dogs 1 we had a first person mode in the car um, which is really cool, and I would use that all the time when driving around. And so, we know, like, they have to have that at least. But I would love to have just a straight-up first person for Watch Dogs 3. That would be really cool. One thing I was disappointed about in Watch Dogs 2 were the traffic light hacks. They didn't really do that much. In Watch Dogs 1, it created this huge crash that you can, like, if someone's chasing after you or you're chasing after someone else, you can make the crash happen and they would get stuck and then they would get out of the car and you would have all those cars from that pile up as cover to hide behind and it would create this dynamic area to fight and it was really interesting i loved it and Watch Dogs one like 90 percent of the time when i would activate the hack there's not enough cars so they would just drive right past each other without even hitting it anything it, it just it was awful there were only very few times where they would actually hit and even if they did they would just like get out look get back in the cars and drive off in Watch Dogs 1 those cars stayed there for a long time I don't like I don't even know if they left I don't remember staying long enough to see if they would leave another part of the first Watch Dogs that I loved that they got rid of for the Watch Dogs 2 which I don't understand why was the focus system you could slow down time and make your precision aiming and hacking and do all this stuff 
that you would be able to do in real time, but you can't do in real time on a video game because you can't because you have to move the camera from one area over here all the way over there and I'll do all that stuff so a focus system in order to slow down time because I found myself even just going into the weapon wheel like in GTA and other games when you go into your weapon wheel it slows down time so you can pick what weapon you want and Watch Dogs 2 didn't have that I don't think the first Watch Dogs did either but the Watch, Watch Dogs 1 had this button on the left bumper and Watch Dogs 2 I think had it on the up arrow so, in Watch Dogs 1, you would still be able to run around and dodge stuff and stuff like that while you're choosing what weapon you want. But in Watch Dogs 1, you have to stop in order to choose your weapon. So, if they're going to keep it on that button, either change the button or have it slow down time. I would prefer the slow down time and change the button. That would be the, the my best solution. But, uh, yeah, I, I loved having the focus system in the first one. I don't know why they got rid of it. And I really hope they bring it back for the second. Probably the biggest thing that I was disappointed about with Watch Dogs 2 was the gas station explosions if you don't know the gas station explosions in the first watchdogs were beautiful there's like five different steps to the to those explosions it's insane there's so much detail to it and then in watchdogs 2 it's just a standard just boop it's done but in watchdogs in the first watchdogs it took like a minute before a gas station to explode and it was incredible like, I have a clip that I'm going to play. Hopefully, this doesn't stop recording again. This is my second go-through of this half of the video. It just stopped recording all of a sudden. But uh, we're going to go ahead and watch the clip I was talking about. Uh, I have the clip of Watch Dogs 1 versus Watch Dogs 2 gas station explosion. And I, I, let's just watch it. Because <laughs> it, it's crazy. They both go off at the same time. I used a... EM, or not, not EMP, I used a detonator to explode both of them, and I both, and I parked a car at both stations. So, see, the second one's still going. Well, I mean, the, the first Watch Dogs is still going. The second one had the one explosion and stopped. It's done. The second one is still going. There was the first explosion, caught fire, second explosion, catching fire again, the roof explodes, and during all of that, so you could see the light bulbs shattering as they're heating up. It's so cool. And then the final explosion, the final big boom. And it's not even done. There's still more. The, the, it starts raining fire and ash from the explosion. It's beautiful. It's so well done. And I hate that they don't have explosions like that in Watch Dogs 2. I don't know why they wouldn't have tried to do that. I, I, it probably is a lot of work. Yeah, that I that probably takes some time to animate all of that happening, but it's worth it to me. Having that kind of detail in just a gas station exploding is crazy. Every time I would see a gas station watchdogs, I would immediately stop and blow it up because it was so much fun just to watch it. It was so cool. And then watchdogs two is just a normal, just one boom, and that's it one thing that I would love for them to put into the game is just extend nighttime a little bit because that's one of my favorite times to explore the city because it's so beautiful when it's, it's nighttime all the lights and the everything is lit up and just doing a blackout at nighttime is so cool because everything gets dark and I would love for them to maybe increase the darkness a little bit more but it's so cool being able to see all the lights going out like down the street and it's getting almost pitch black and then everything comes back on and lighting up the streets again it's so cool but also just exploring in nighttime and especially when it's raining at nighttime it's so cool i that's my favorite time and i would love for them to just uh, extend nighttime a little bit and i know some people would say like oh nighttime is the worst time to explore and all that but there's a sleeping system in the game where you can go sleep and you can set the time for when you want to wake up. I, I don't think there's any kind of downside to having the nights extended. I, I would love that. One of the biggest things that I was really disappointed w didn't come back for Watch Dogs 2 were the random crimes. They were so much fun. I would play the first Watch Dogs over and over, like even after I beat the game. I would just go in there and wait for a random crime to pop up and go after them. 
because they were just so much fun to do. <sighs> I hate that I have to talk about all this again. I talked so detailed about it the first time. In Watch Dogs 2, I understand you're not playing as a vigilante character, so that's most likely why they don't have random crimes. But that's just... <sighs> Even if you're not playing as a technical, vi like technically a vigilante, I would still, I still would have loved to have had those kind of things pop up every once in a while and being able to go after the guys. It was just it was so much fun to do, and it was just it was incredible. I really hope they bring that back for the second game. And on the same lines as that, I really loved the the good and bad level that they had in. The first watchdogs when you do good stuff your level would go up your vigilante level would go up if you did bad stuff it would go down and depending on where you are on that scale would determine how people would react to you if you're walking down the street and someone recognizes you from news reports and you were doing bad stuff they would call the cops on you another thing i really loved i don't remember if you can i don't think you can in the second game you, maybe you can in the first game when someone calls the cops on you you can go up to them and take their phone and stop them from calling the cops. I don't know if you can do that in the second in the second game. I don't think I've ever done that, so maybe I just don't know. But it wasn't a thing that they like told you to do in the first one. It, like there's a tutorial telling you how to do that. Like that's a big part of that game. The other thing is like when you go into a store. If you're if you're doing bad stuff and you go into a store and then a news report comes on on the TV in there, the cashier will see that and either react to you in a good or bad way depending on what you do and if you if you're doing bad stuff he would set off the silent alarm and call the cops on you and it was super interesting i just i absolutely love that i really hope Watch Dogs 3 is a combination of both Watch Dogs 1 and 2 because there are a lot of really cool stuff about Watch Dogs 2 it looks beautiful i i play on the computer i don't think that the consoles had the san francisco fog but that was beautiful. Like Watch Dogs 2 is a beautiful game, but Watch Dogs 1 just has a certain level of detail that I think Watch Dogs 2 was missing. There were just other systems and stuff that I really missed, and I hope that they bring them back for Watch Dogs 3. And we will see this weekend. I think it's Saturday is when we're getting the Ubisoft. No, Sunday. I think it's Sunday when we're getting the Ubisoft conference. So we will see then, and I might make another video updating this and talking about what we see. I don't know if it's only going to be a cinematic. I don't know if it's going to be gameplay. I don't know how long we're going to see. So it'll be interesting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Also, go check out my videos on Patreon. Everything goes up a week early over on there. And I am currently playing through Sonic Generations. And I am going to start doing reactions to One Punch Man Season 2. Love Season 1. I have the, the manga. If any of you were watching my Psychopath reactions, I am not doing that anymore. I'm just, I'm not super into the show. I, it's interesting, but my reactions for that just haven't been very good. I don't think there's not any like, whoa, crazy moments to me. I will see you guys another time.